Hi, Mike Redding here from usingtechnologybetter.com. In this short video, I wanted to just show you how we can use Google Apps to do a mail merge. Now, I know a lot of people want to know how can they do a mail merge in Google Docs, and they often struggle to find a way, but there's actually a way that you can do it quite easily. So to do a mail merge using Google Docs, what you need to have is you need to have a Google Doc which has your text with a couple of tags in here that you want to use to do the merge. And then you need a corresponding Google Sheet uh, with your column headers here, and uh, they need to match up. Now something to notice here, they don't have to be an exact match. So for instance, in my sheet here, I have elective choice, but in my Google Doc, I just have the word elective. So we can make those merge up. Uh, here's another example of one that I've also created. So you can have student names, dates, and, and so on. And this would be the corresponding uh, merge sheet that we would use. So to do a mail merge using Google Docs, here's what we need to do. You need to go to your Google Sheet and you need to add the add-on which will run this for you. And the add-on is called Autocrat. So if you haven't got Autocrat, basically what you do is go add-ons, come down the bottom here to get add-ons, and then you would find the Autocrat um, add-on here in the store either by just searching through and finding it, or you could just do a search here. Once you've found it, just click the free button and then add it to your account. Once you've added it, you'll notice that under the add-ons toolbar, you'll have the option here for Autocrat. So what we wanna do is we wanna just launch Autocrat. So I'm just gonna click that button just there, and you can see down the bottom that it's working. Now we've already um, done this as a demo in one of our live trainings that we ran for principals and exec teams, but it will still work for us just the same. So basically what I've got is I've got a doc here called First Aid, but let's just run this as a new merge job. So I'm gonna click this red button just up the top here, and it will just load up all our parameters for us. Now one of the great things about this is that it all just runs straight inside your Google Sheets, and you don't need to go off using other programs to make it happen. Okay, so here we have uh, the first step, and you can see that it just works it all out. We just need to choose our template. So you can choose your template out of your drive account, or you can create a brand new template if you wanted to. So here, let's just choose this one from drive. And the one that I'm going to use, or I'm gonna search for, is the one called mail merge example. Now I've already had it up before, but we'll just show you how to go through it. All right, so here we go here. Just gonna click that and open it up. Okay, so here we've got uh, merge tags. So we've got student name, date, and teacher. So if I go back here, student name, date, teacher. So we will need to just merge those inside the sheet header. So the student name is obviously gonna be student date, date's gonna be date, teacher's gonna be teacher. Now you could move those around because if you look here, these are all the row headers. So so long as you can find the tag, then you'll be able to match it up. So it doesn't have to be exact match. So once we've done that, we can just simply click Save. In the next option here, we've got um, some ability to insert values into the spreadsheet in terms of our naming convention. So here it's gonna be student name newsletter. Um, so you can use student name, you can use date, teacher, and so on. And then here we can choose, do we wanna have a Google Doc or a PDF, which is a really nice option. So at the moment, I'm just gonna create Google Doc, and you could email these as well. Now, under advanced settings, you can do a whole lot of conditional formatting. Oh, that's all looked in a bit ugly right now. But you can have all sorts of different things in here, uh, folders that you can save to and so on. So just gonna save all our settings so that we can run this new merge. So here we are, we've got our merge jobs just here. All ready, all packaged up, ready to go. Now, you could just go ahead and run the merge down the bottom here, clicking that little uh, run merge button or you might wanna preview it. I always preview it first just to make sure it's gonna run properly. And then you could always go back and edit if you want. So I'm just gonna click on the preview button here. It's just gonna pull up our preview document, have all the merge tags inserted, and we can just have a look at it here. Uh, the great thing about this is you can always edit your template right from here. Nice way to be able to do that. Don't have to go back to drive and find it. Uh, you can just edit it straight out of here. So the first one, first name here, you can just see in the background is Harry. So hi Harry, thanks for attending the first aid course. There's a date, uh, there's the teacher. So it all looks like it works pretty good. If I uh, click the next one, it's just gonna show me the next uh, merge and so on. So once all of those are done, you simply just come up and click the X button here and then just click on run merge and then it will run it in the background. 
Now with all these merged documents, what it does is it creates individual documents for the merge like you'd expect and puts them all into a folder for you just here. Now here's my merge doc uh, folder. So if I go here, you'll see that we have the first name has come up, the elective and the choice uh, when it was last modified and so on. So really simple way to be able to do mail merges and hopefully that's been a real help for you. If you need any other help or tips and tricks, what we'd love you to do is head over to the usingtechnologybetter.com website. Uh, there you'll see that there's an unlimited support program that you, your school can join. But we also have lots of tips and tricks right there in our blog. So thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.